Virgo, this is all about you. Welcome back to Born Without Boundaries, Virgo. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading for the week of October 24th through October 30th of 2019. Virgo, 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 if you are on a platform where um, commercials are allowed to interrupt, expect a commercial in a couple of seconds so that there doesn't have to be any more interruptions throughout the message. Remember over here is the Oracle card reading on YouTube. We're gonna get the general energies for all Virgos coming through for this week ahead. And then over on Vimeo, the link is in the description box. We'll do, we do a full, I do a full tarot card spread and uh, a romance reading as well. So you can engage in that if you want as well. Um, they all flow together, Virgo. So um, yes, you will get a beautiful full reading over on YouTube too. Um, yeah, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, Virgo, please do subscribe. My name is Michelle. This is Born Without Boundaries. Please click that bell so you know when I go live. I actually go live every Monday through Friday. Um, around between 8 and 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's New York Standard Time. Um, and I do a daily reading, a daily tarot card reading, and then afterward I do a question and answer. So you ask me questions and I give you one or two card answers. And that's a lot of fun. So that happens Monday through Friday, FYI. Also, Virgo, I'm going to announce, and you're the first... Um, people that I'm announcing this to is I'm going to do a full spread for um, uh, the coming full moon. Uh, two things. I'm going to go. I'm going to do a full spread for how the Mercury retrograde in Scorpio season is going to affect each zodiac sign, and then I'm also going to do a full spread um, on YouTube for um, the upcoming. Um, new moon in Scorpio on October 28th. That's coming up really soon. And I want to see, so I'll do that one first. I want to see how that's going to affect us all too. Okay. So Virgo, let's get into your reading. Oh, let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. October, Energies for the zodiac sign of Virgo, October 24th. Okay. October 24th through the 30th of 2019 for the zodiac sign of Virgo, October 24th through the 30th. Okay. Had to spell out of 2019. Uh, what are the energies? What are the messages for the zodiac sign of Virgo, October 24th? through 30th of 2019, October 24th through 30th of 2019. Remember Virgo, this comes to you when it's supposed to come to you. So if you end up getting this a week late or two weeks late or a year later, the message is supposed to be heard by you then. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Zodiac sign of Virgo. I feel like there's a lot of good surprises for you this week, Virgo. So, coming, like things coming around that you didn't think would. Spirit has a plan. Now, little Buddha up here comes out whenever you need to be reminded to A, take the higher ground or be patient and watch and wait and look at things from the higher perspective or from the aerial perspective. But also it comes out to say, you need to have faith. This is going to be a week filled with faith because spirit is, little booty here, really has your best interest at heart. And he's directing you into a situation that, you, that will set you up for future success. Um, he, it may not necessarily be what you want or what you completely understand right now, but this is the message that there is a higher plan and a higher purpose. Um, this could also be speaking to taking time out and stepping back, just taking a second to relax and not do much, like stay very, very still this coming week, Virgo, and look for the signs and watch for the signs because there are signs that are coming into you. So please be aware of that, whether it be in, in angel numbers or, or songs on the radio or signage that you see in a window. It doesn't matter if it rings to you and you hear it clearly in your heart. Trust that intuitive part of you this week. 
Virgo, because there will be spirit messages that are sent to you throughout this week that you really need to receive. And I think you really need to receive them for support um, so that you can, you know, basically get faith in a place where you maybe normally wouldn't have faith or react in a way that you normally wouldn't react, react more calmly. Just stay and wait. Have patience with the situations that you confront this week, Virgo, because um, that patience is going to get you very, very far. It's going to get you a lot farther than if you, if you reacted. Um, um, you just need to, you just need more information. That's what it is. You need to take in all the information you can this week. There will be important messages from you, for you. You need to listen. Not listen as in obey, but listen as in take it in, receive it, and then incorporate that data into what you know. It's almost like there's this powerful energy of maybe you didn't understand something, something confused you and there was a higher purpose behind it, but it's like, listen, because it may be a message that you, um, that you don't think that, you, that you're not expecting or a message that you don't want to hear, but it is telling you something for your greater good. It is revealing something to you for a higher purpose in your life or to strengthen you in some way that you had been weak in the past. Yeah. So this is honestly, Virgo, I'm going to say, <laughs> this is l listen to some, l like listen to a guru, listen to somebody else. I don't think that you will interpret this message in the right way. This message will have to come straight from somebody who has a higher understanding of the spirit world and who will be, it could be an astrologer, it could be a priest, it could be, be a parent, it could just be some, a friend, it could just be somebody that you've asked for advice. In other words, you will go, happy birthday, Michelle and Santa Gate, my birthday, 706 was there. Um, so you will go to somebody for advice um, this week, take their advice, listen to what they have to say, really don't, yeah, really accept it as truth because it is. It's it's sort of part of that extension of that spirit message. Like I said, it may not be something that's comfortable for you to hear, but it's something that you need to hear. Let's understand why. Let's understand why nothing is wasted in trust in magic. See these two birds coming out? It's almost like a more mature version of the other. This is like a fledgling and this is a fully realized understanding bird that understands that Life doesn't always go perfectly. That doesn't mean it's not beautiful. Um, sometimes the worst, the, the best recipes um, contain the cheapest ingredients. You know, it's almost like there, nothing, nothing has been wasted. Nothing in this experience was really wasted. This is really just you leveling up. You see, there's a, a maturation happening here. You know, you go from, it's actually 66 to 63, but there's a maturation here. There's an, a, a wisdom to you that you didn't have before. And maybe this is like clearing out parts of your past so that you can have a new start, start fresh. This is like allowing something to have a restart, hit the restart button so that you can, um, it's, it's almost like something will need to hit the restart button this week, Virgo. Um, you'll find yourself in a position where you're asked to be calm and you're asked to understand things from an objective perspective and try to not take things too personally. And you will be asked to, so, or you will be given a, a second chance. Basically, I think that's what you're going to decide. It's just to, to restart completely start new, start fresh, start from the very beginning, that nothing that you had or learned was wasted. It's not that it was wasted. It's that it's, it's time now for to begin again. That's the message that's coming through. If that makes any sense to you at all. So this was a bring a gentle touch. You are not going to want to bring a gentle touch. This is your card. You flipped upside down. And it's funny because we've had so many reversals this week. It's like literally we're all going upside down. We're going into the upside down world. We're going into a darker world. We're going into a place, in other words, that we don't feel very comfortable. This is almost like you being in, a, in the, the deer in headlights or the deer in a crosshatch as opposed to the deer skipping through the forest. So in other words, you're going to be under pressure this week. 
um, Virgo. Um, the miracles are endless is coming out upside down. You still see this beautiful cornucopia. You still see the beauty of the moment, but it you have to, in other words, look at it from a different perspective to see the beauty in the moment. Because if you try to see this, in the normal way, you'll just see, oh, it's a waste. It's a cow that's upside down. I don't want to deal with that. And you'll totally miss the blessings that are coming in through this experience. Hmm. There's a lot of earth energy here that's upside down. And what does that tell me? It means that you're going to have to be flexible this week, Virgo. And then time for a deep dive upside down. Once again, I feel like your heart is broken and this is a Libra card. I think that, that your heart is broken and you could have been disappointed by somebody who meant a lot to you. And this could have be, be concerning them. And that if you want a future with them, you're going to have to hit a hard restart. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra, you could be dealing with another Virgo or a Taurus. This has something to do with, um, yeah, it's like Virgo, Taurus. It's Everybody's upside down. I think that whatever it is has turned all of you upside down. In other words, something has really shocked you. Um, something has really taken you by storm and you don't really understand it. Something, 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 some event. I'm trying to get a deeper reading for you, Virgo. Um, hmm. Something's actually broken your heart. It's, um, it's like, it's like, it's like they've hooked you. You know? It's like the swan has its feet above the water and its head underneath it. You don't understand what's happening or what's going on. And this could have caused conflict between you and somebody else as well. Like you, this could actually be a sort of a surprise where you didn't expect somebody, somebody that you expected to be on your side wasn't. That if you confronted them or expected them to to defend you or to stick up for you or to you know help you out maybe maybe lend you money they let you down they're they're not taking the side that you thought they would in fact they might actually be siding with the other side or whoever disappointed you to begin with so i feel like there is a big disappointment that you have to deal with this week virgo and it's honestly it's because it's time I, that's all I can hear you, it said. It's time. It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. It's time to do things differently. It's time to change. There's a big change upon you. That's why we have White Raven, Trust in Magic, right near nothing is wasted. Something is manifesting. Something is transforming. Something is starting over. And it can't. you can't take the old baggage with you. You can't take the old ways with you. This is supposed to start over. This is supposed to be a hard restart. It's not supposed, things weren't supposed to last forever. As near and dear as they were to your heart, they were not supposed to last forever. They weren't supposed to be young and innocent forever, right? This is something that sort of breaks your innocence, breaks uh, an understanding of of, of what you thought, what you thought reality was, how you thought other people viewed you. It's almost like an, a wake up call, an awakening of a realization that's finally hitting you. And you just have to believe it, like believe it when you hear it, believe it when you're confronted by it. A, it'll go a lot smoothly for you. And B, it's because you're supposed to believe it. You're meant to have this disconnect or, you, or, or restart for a reason. You're, you're meant to, you're meant to give up this old way of life you're meant to let it go and let it die out it hurts i know it's not something that you want to let go of but it is for the purpose of something new and fresh starting trust in it trust that there's magic in what a spirit is asking of you that there is like there's manifestation happening all over this. I did a reading for you, I think two weeks back where things were changing too quickly for you. I feel like this is an extension of that reading. I'll attach it above. Um, um, I feel like that's an extension of the, of, of that reading of, of just, but, but it's not the same thing that's happening. Something, this is not good stuff that you just can't handle because it's flying at you too fast. This is actually something that disappointed you and it really broke your heart, but it's in, 
um, in continuation of your life changing. And that's, that's difficult. That makes you feel like you're flipped upside down anyway. But it is inevitably going to be this beautiful, wonderful thing that will connect you deeper to spirit and actually mellow you out a little bit and make you see things like make you a little bit calmer, um, less presumptive, uh, presumptuous, let, um, like more open to gathering information and collecting information before you make an ultimate, an ultimate decision. So Virgo, I'm going to flip the camera around so I can go over the cards with you. Hold on. So you see how these three cards, this is Virgo. This is a Taurus energy. This is Libra energy. They're sort of flipped upside down. So I feel like everything that was, is now feels, feels like it's in reverse or feels like it's um, something's going wrong. There was an uprising or something's going wrong in terms of what seems to be the most fair, what seems to be the right thing and the most beautiful thing, what seems to be the most loving thing. That's not what's happening. And it really took you by storm and surprised you, disappointed you. The purpose of it is nothing is wasted. Please have faith. This is spirit has a plan. Virgo, you're going to need to have a lot of faith this week and realize that this experience or all the experience in the pa experiences in the past, which made this new thing so disappointing, honestly, it, it needed to happen. To clean up all the old bullshit, like Vulture cleans up the garbage. That's when he comes in. He cleans up the garbage. He makes something useful out of those things that normally people would have thrown away. So vulture spirit is calling you to say, make something useful out of the situation. And what is useful is a new beginning, a new start. You are verging on a brand new life, Virgo. There's too much coming at you for you to deny that anymore. Okay. It, this is definitely time. It is time to let go. And I feel like this occurrence happened because you were still holding on very tightly to a part of the past that was supposed to die a long time ago. Okay, this happened to force you to let go. Spirit needs you to let go. It's saying, please, please, please let go. Yes, I know that you want more information. You need more information right now. You need to just trust me. All the information you need is that this isn't meant to be anymore. It's time. It's time, Virgo. It's time. So what is it time for? We're going to go over, um, we're going to get into that on Vimeo. I'm going to pull the full tarot card reading to delve a little bit deeper into the practicalities and the technicalities of what's happening and who this is happening with over on Vimeo. And I'm also going to be doing your romance reading. So follow me over there, Virgo. I'll see you there.